I'm supposed to be doing a lab report right now, but I'm procrastinating. I've just been surfing around YouTube and watching TV. So I thought, hmm, what's the solution to all problems? Yoga. Um, I've been doing a lot of yoga lately and I feel like yoga helps me with everything in my life. It helps me be happier, it helps me sleep better. I used to have a hard time sleeping, but after yoga, I fall asleep almost instantaneously. So it's really good and I recommend it to all of you. It also helps you feel more grounded in your body and it's good exercise. It helps you breathe and it's kind of like a spiritual cleansing. If you saw my detox video, you know about the physical cleansing from the inside. Well, this is the physical cleansing. So I am by no means a yoga teacher. I've never had training in yoga, but I actually do my yoga through podcasts. I download this podcast called Yoga Amazing and it's with this teacher named Chaz who's really good. So I'm just going to show you a few of my favorite yoga moves. He always seems to like to start in child's pose which is really good because it helps you just ground yourself and it, it's a very relaxing and calming state that you can be in before you start your yoga routine. So you just, you're sitting on your heels and you kind of spread open your legs a little bit and you just go down. And you're breathing very deeply and it's kind of a rhythm and it keeps you in step with the whole routine. So don't forget to breathe, it's very important. That's what makes yoga, yoga. Now after this, we're gonna slowly come down to downward facing dog. Make sure your heels are on the ground and you're pushing your shoulders back. So it looks like an, an upside down V. This really stretches out your legs back here. You can feel the burn. Sometimes it's hard to put your heels down, but if you can't, it's fine. Um, just do what you can. Make sure you're breathing. You really feel a strain. It's a pretty hard move. I had a hard time with this. Um, you can also feel all the blood rushing to your head too. But that's good. Next, we're gonna do the half downward facing dog, where you just lift your leg up for a little bit. And then we're gonna come down to pigeon pose. You bring your, your leg in, and you stretch all the way down. Make sure your upper body is straight parallel to the ground and that you're not leaning in any direction. So this is a really good stretch. And then we'll come up again, back to half downward facing dog. And we'll put it down. Take a few deep breaths. and then do the other leg. Up. And in for pigeon. This side. And go down. And then you come back up. Back to half. And then downward facing dog again. Give it a good stretch. When you're breathing, make sure you breathe in deeply through your nose and exhale through your throat and just let it all out. Back 
on your knees, down in child's pose again. Alright, so now we're sitting down. Um, lay down on your back. This one's really fun. Um, it's called a shoulder stand. It's it almost gives the same effect as a headstand, and it lets the blood flow to your, from bottom to up, because you're always standing on your feet, and a lot of blood flows downwards, so if you kind of can reverse that process and let the blood flow upwards, it's really good, and hopefully that'll just give me more motivation to do what I have to do, um, yeah, with my work, <laughs> since this is yoga for motivation. All right, so bring your knees in, give yourself a big hug, rock a little bit side to side, bring your head in, and then roll a little bit, and then roll up. It's kind of hard. Make sure you tighten your butt, and that's how you can get straight up. Make sure you're breathing still. Stretch your legs out, up to the sky, as much as you can. Make sure your hands are holding your back. It gives you a little bit more of a balance booster. And then we'll go down to plow pose. Just bring your feet down. Make sure your toes are pointed. Sorry, you can't see this. I'll move down a little bit. So, you're up. Down to plow pose. Get your toes pointed and it's over your head, just gently touching the ground above your head. A really good stretch for your spine here and also for your legs. And breathe. All right, and then we'll come back down. Just relax for a little bit, let the blood flow. Take a few deep breaths. That was just a little bit of some of my favorite, very basic yoga moves. And now I feel refreshed. There's new, fresh blood flowing in my head now. And I can get back to work on my lab report. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out yogamazing.com with Chaz or download Yoga Amazing podcasts on iTunes. It'll benefit you a lot and you'll love it. See you later.